All right, guys, in a video I did not so long ago talking about Mylar blankets and what you should choose, what you should stay away from, and ultimately kind of breaking down Mylar blankets as a use for emergency survival, shelters, and warmth, I kind of talked about or briefly discussed or touched on uh, how I use survival blankets or Mylar blankets in my PSK. And so I'm not gonna be taking my PSK apart for this video to show the exact two that are in there, but I do have a lot of stand-ins for Mylar blankets. So I thought I would talk about how I generally run these in a survival kit and as a survival system or a survival shelter system. Now, without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Instagram, the Patreon. The support is very appreciated. Now, let's jump into it. So, as I mentioned in that video, when I do, so in my, so as I mentioned in that video, when I run my PSK or in my PSK as a whole, there are two Mylar blankets. And the whole idea for the two Mylar blanket system is that when people run Mylar blankets, they traditionally think that they're gonna run one and just construct a shelter of it. So generally speaking, when you want to make a shelter out of these, like let's say just a basic lean-to, you will run into some issues. And that is that you may be able to construct a shelter, but that shelter, unless you're bringing a lot of heat into it, won't really be able to reflect your warmth. So while you may have an airtight, watertight uh, covering over your head or your body, the problem really comes into the fact that because that mylar isn't right up against your body or isn't very close to you it's not really going to be returning heat back to you so it does its job as far as a shelter goes but it doesn't do its job as far as the mylar goes so that is why i traditionally run two uh, mylar blankets the idea here is that even having two mylar blankets is still incredibly small and incredibly lightweight, especially for an entire shelter system. Now, of course, it's not gonna be perfect. And yes, I would much rather have a you know zero degree bag with a sleeping mat or with a sleeping pad and of course a proper shelter. So by me saying this is a shelter system, it's by no means perfect. And you may still need to do things to make this more viable in certain temperatures and conditions. But by and large, you know, when talking about having two Mylar blankets, you know, even a thicker, larger one versus a smaller, thinner one, you know, um, it's still incredibly lightweight and incredibly small, especially for, you know, overall the size and uh, capabilities. So when it comes down to it for survival, what I prefer to do is run a larger, more capable, uh, usually thicker, this one's actually not as thick, but in my proper PSK, I have a thicker, larger, uh, mylar blanket and that one is to serve as the shelter and that will give you a really good field expedient waterproof windproof shelter it won't be absolutely bomb proof but it will block i would say 80 to 90 percent of the water and or rain or sorry rain and or wind but uh, that essentially serves as the core for the shelter part of the aspect now as far as actually covering your body and making that mylar you know really help you as far as heat return goes that's why I carry a smaller lighter weight one that is usually like I said a little bit thinner a little bit more fragile and a little bit smaller but still good enough to cover my core and return the most of my heat that's trying to exit my body so that is my preferred kind of uh, shelter setup or system is having one that is going to serve as that proper shelter and ultimately once again when looking at it you know when you have something that's even this size you know it's a little bit thicker a little bit bigger but still is a you know decent size for covering or making a covering you know as far as weight and size goes, you're not really going to get much better than a proper Mylar blanket for building a water slash windproof shelter. So in the end, you know, I don't love Mylar blankets and they are very fragile. So you do have to be cautious with how you construct your shelter and the capability of that shelter. Also, you wanna be cautious of how close a fire is because one hot ember landing on a Mylar blanket like this will definitely create holes because like I said, these are very thin material. This is a very thin material. So, uh, you know, you do wanna be cautious in those regards, but as far as it goes, it is very hard to beat it for what this material is in addition to um, you know like I said it's still a really good idea to pair that 
have to pair that mylar blanket with another mylar blanket that is going to be closer to your body and uh, ultimately closer <clears throat> that's going to be closer to your body and like that is going to be right on your body covering you returning your heat because this will do an adequate job at keeping the elements off of you but this alone won't do an adequate job of returning the heat back to your body so in colder conditions you are going to need a second mylar blanket or you're going to need a second mylar blanket that is going to help truly be that blanket that covers your body returns the heat retains the heat into your body and keeps you warm so that is my two mylar blanket system once again even as a setup like this it's still incredibly small and incredibly lightweight and in my PSK as a whole, I have once again my larger one that's wrapped in a bandana at the bottom of the PSK and then I have a smaller one towards the top. So that's kind of just how I have to put it in here. But realistically, like I said, like in a PSK this size, you can have two Mylar blankets and you can make this system work very easily. So anyways, guys, hopefully enjoyed kind of taking a deeper look and a better understanding of why I choose to run two Mylar blankets and why I think that it is the best idea and why you guys should as well. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.